Hello YouTube, welcome back to Transport Fever and uh, first things first I want to thank all of those who have been subscribing through Transport Fever and wanting to watch Transport Fever videos and gameplay and playthroughs. You guys are absolutely awesome, I really appreciate all the support there, Steam forums on here, it's it's really really great. Um, few things few things I need to go through of course, uh, last time out in the last episode which I'm actually recording this before actually publishing that last episode so bit bit wonky but I'll explain that as well um, I asked you guys to look for some freight lines and I'm sure many of you have left comments about freight lines and stuff the easiest one for me right now is this one here I have seen I'm sure you guys have seen others and I've also seen this one up here so those are two freight lines that I can possibly start with and I'll be obviously reading the comments and having a look at any other freight lines that you guys may have come across that I am completely missing which will happen I mean I, I have probably missed two or three freight lines right there slap bang in the middle that are really easy to get to uh, next thing uh, yes this recording session I'm going to be trying to do uh, a setup where it's going to be three videos in a week so that's going to be instead of a Wednesday and a Saturday like last week it's going to be Tuesday Thursday and Saturday and I'm gonna see if I can do that and if the views pick up and the views stay you know fairly high consistent and the likes and the comments and all that kind of stuff I'll try and continue with three three episodes a week which should allow us to get through this series very very quickly which should be absolutely awesome means that I can try lots of things until my computer lags to hell which it will eventually it really really will what am I going to be doing in these next three episodes then for this week um, I think this video should be coming out let me just work this out Wednesday's episode 4 Saturday would be episode 5 so this would be on a Tuesday episode 6 yep so in this episode 6 which is coming out on a Tuesday and the one on Thursday and the one next Saturday we are going to be looking at getting in fact I should probably get this playing we're going to be looking at getting this freight line running right here and seeing if we can connect it up to East Grinstead uh, Padstow possibly Dudley and Durham so it's going to be quite interesting now there are many ways I could do this but I already have a number of things a number of ideas in my head uh, but before we also start that, a couple of things. Someone's commented, um, Landwalker, I believe it was you. You talked about this, this profit and loss um, basic balance sheet. Uh, of course, expenditure income, we're talking about expenses and things like that. Apparently, and I can see it now that I look at it, these totals, these figures here, they're not as bad as they look. We actually are making money even in these years. Uh, overall so the the net the net profit and everything is higher which is pretty cool that means we're not doing as bad as we you know as bad as we hoped or bad as we hoped as bad as we feared um, we're doing better which is great next thing people may be asking about a logo I haven't got a logo I'm not going to be using a logo in this particular series I will in the next series for a very very particular reason if things go if things go right um, I'll be using a very specific logo with a very specific map and very very specific trains uh, I think only a couple of you already know about that idea but anyway that's that's enough uh, blabbering for now let's get this freight line up and running one of the questions that was also asked was about signaling and stations and things like that so I'm also going to try and spend this episode explaining all of those things because I think that it is important and I was going a little bit fast last time first things first let's uh, upgrade the street so as you can see it's allowing me to upgrade one small if I zoom in it allows me to upgrade one small section which is pretty fancy so I'm just gonna upgrade that section right there uh, and not not that just that section right there lovely now I'm going to create a you know what just for the heck of it I'm going to create a large street that goes right across here okay that's curved so really if I start from this side it should be straight there we go uh, it's got a bit of a bump not entirely happy about that bump but things will change so for now that bump is to remain yep that bump will remain 
Okay, we've got the money to really build up the next station. It's not much. As you can see, it's only 1 million. Which kind of shows, I mean, I know we're in 1863, but it kind of shows how difficult this particular playthrough is going to be with the ideas I have. There's going to be a lot of waiting for money, a lot of trying to make money. Now, unfortunately, this is the wrong way. If, if the farm was on this side and the factory was on this side, I could easily supply East Grinstead. But it is the wrong way. It's definitely the wrong way. So, I'm going to need a line that's going to be going from here to here. That's that's the first one. But I'm also going to need a line that's going from here down to here and then down to here. Although I could generally do a, a straight line. See, I could do straight lines, but I don't want to do that because even though it is the most effective way around things, it's not really that realistic and it's not fun. Uh, other thing that was mentioned, someone mentioned something about these loops. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't remember who it was, but it was a fantastic post about uh, you know, how the loops work and what they think would be better. So I'm going to attempt that on the freight loop. I'm going to attempt something slightly different. Instead of having one loop like this, uh, I'm going to try and make two smaller loops and see if they work because you'll have a, a shorter time or something like that. Anyway, enough blabbering on. Let's let's actually get on with this. Let's go. Train station. That's bus station. Well done. Great way to start. Um, we can put a... Mm, is it going to be a terminal? I think it, sh I think it will be a terminal station, actually. Uh, we want to put two tracks here. Ooh, do we want to do two or do we want to do three? If we did three, we could possibly run a line up this way and hook up a, a freight station in the middle of nowhere. Which would be terrible. We could hook up a freight station that looped around and then looped that way. Or we could hook up one that went here and then up that way. Let's stick with two right now. Where's the third one going to be? Even if there's a third platform, it's on the. That's fine, because the third platform's on that side. So if I go ahead and say, hook it up, potentially like, uh, should we try that? That looks like a decent. Yeah, that looks decent. Now, if I was to pretend to upgrade it and bring it up to seven, I cannot bring it up to seven. I can make it up to six. Six is good. You know, well, that means we could have up to six. That's not bad. Six lines is pretty, pretty fancy. You know what? I'm going to get rid of that. I don't like those negative numbers showing up. Uh, yep, yeah, that's fine. So we've got two right now and we can upgrade up to six. Uh, obviously, I'm fighting a little bit of lag. Some of you may have noticed at points. It's just due to the size of the cities that I've already got. Configuration files, man, you've got to love them. You've got to love configuration files. Right. Um, it looks like I'm going to be plowing through a couple of fields right there and right there. That's going to be annoying because they cost now. Uh, let's go ahead and stick in another station. Two track. Terrain alignment collision. Hello. From what? Well, that's new. Okay, well, let's let's try and put one just here. Terrain alignment collision. I don't know. Okay, if it doesn't want it like that, let's try and put a. Let's try and put it there then. It will hook up a road, like so. Let's see if that actually is in the catchment area. It should be quite clearly. Yes, it is. Right. So we've got that. Now we need to um, get some track going. Let's see what a straight hookup is going to look like. Two fields will be removed. It's going to cost me half a million. Okay, let's see. Where, where can we save some money? There's a little bit of a ditch here that we could possibly save on there's a little bit of a crest there that we could possibly save on right so there is a couple of places we could save some money but 
on the whole that's not too bad so let's one field will be removed two field it's got terrain alignment collision wait that's going to cost what those fields cost a lot so really it's not really the track oh yeah it isn't the track as well okay it looks like we've got no choice here because that's either way it's going to cost us around the half a million mark so we're just going to go for it we're going to stick that onto this line let's just double check that yep we're good okay so that goes onto this line tick there's one which means this is going to cost basically peanuts yeah 100k okay and uh, there's our second right so we've got a little bit of a freight line right there next up we need a freight station so let's go ahead and get a freight station ready here uh, two track I think two track should be I think two track should be viable let's see how close we can get this that looks about right okay and place it there okay that's actually pretty cool that's that's that looks like a uh, a proper station very nice you know you've got freight lines and passenger lines which is pretty awesome okay uh, some of you may still be wondering where the buffers are I haven't got the foggiest I have got no idea where the buffers have gone okay so that's that now this is where things are going to get a little bit interesting we're going to use our first set of complicated junctions you guys may be wondering as well why have I left this single track then I could have made that double track made that double track you know two platform stations either side everything would have been fine well like I mentioned this station is not going to remain here as a matter of fact eventually I think this line is just going to all be freight this is just going to be a freight line and there's going to be no passengers running down this line it's all going to be on a separate line uh, in its own little fancy way so that's that that's all planned I'm always forward thinking that's that's the idea here it's going to start complaining about connecting this up as well so before it complains I shall make a you know what let's just make a large street here hook that up like so okay and to really get things going let's actually even put in a freight yeah let's put that in right here Ooh, the large one has changed from when I last checked oh and I can get a large one in here that's quite fancy well let's just put a let's just put a small one in I like the new large ones that they're, they're actually really nice that kind of looks nice as well that actually looks like a nice screenshot moment as well that is actually a very good screenshot moment there we go let's uh ta-da done episode thumbnail woo right um what was i doing yes connecting this up here that's a very nice corner well done well done transport fever so i've got it going this way now really i would want to have one going across here as well bridge is possible but for now i'm going to leave it like that because like i said we need to put some more rails in and you know this episode we're going to have all the rails ready and the routes ready before the end of the episode um okay uh, you train need to go and you can see that i'm actually managing to hold on to the money that i make uh, that i've had so we had one million at the start i've made another 250 but i have been building things let's go ahead and hook this up in in that fashion actually no let's um it's a double track we could, we could do this like that and hook it up like that there okay that's good that's good hook that up right up to the edge so that's good I like that okay uh, next I shall and I love this this is something I've always wanted proper railway points for double track so let's actually 
give that a bit of a higher... Sp Actually, it's stuck to 37, isn't it? I want to give it about 40. 40 is good. There's 41. That's that's good. Like so. And then we'll follow the next one along, which should snap on. There. There's a snap. And that's also 40, which is fantastic. There we go. We actually have some proper railway points. Though the question is, where are the points? Huh. The points are missing. Where did they go? Not sure. Okay, so there we go. So there's uh, a way in and out on that side. Let's do the same over here. Uh, we're going to want double track, of course. Do that. Would that is that going to allow us to do that? It does. Just a little bit of extension there, and then across over there. It's a 30 mile an hour. 34, 35. I mean, to be honest, it's going to slow down for that, and it is going to then slow down again, so it doesn't really matter too much. There we go. Uh, I'll just do that, and then see if that hooks up. Right there. Perfect. So there's our... That's actually quite fancy. What do you guys think? You think that's a... Uh... That looks good? Let's do that. I think that looks fairly good. So you've got the junctions coming in like that, junctions going out like that. That's very, very nice. I do like that. Next up, we need to connect that over to this. So, uh, let's make this a little bit more complicated. Right here, we're going to split off some double track. In fact, let's see how this is going to do. If we do a straight connection, I wonder what it will do. It will do a terrain alignment collision. Okay, fine. Let's go ahead and break this off just here then. At uh, 40 miles an hour, that looks... Let's do 40, there we go. Wonderful. And we'll see if we can do the same just here. That's not connected up correctly, so let's do it the opposite way. That's connected correctly. Okay, lovely. Um, and then, let's see if we can hook this up. So we do that. Is that going to hook up? That is, it's a little bit close. But I think that's the best we're going to get. Oh, that's, that's very close. But it's fine, it's, it's working absolutely fine. There we go. So that is our new, new junction. Okay, so we've got that. Now we also would possibly need, if we're going on to diff different platforms, at both. Um... Ooh, I don't know if this is going to work. Construction not possible. I thought so. Um, I mean, I've thought this through completely correctly. Um, no, 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 that's fine, that's fine, because right here, we can make a diamond. That didn't work. I said we could make a diamond. Perfect. It'd be a slow diamond, but it's a diamond nonetheless. And there. So there's a diamond crossing. Wonderful. Um, coming up to the end of the episode already as well, but that's fine. And right here, we could probably have a similar diamond crossing. Like that, and hopefully this will allow me to do it the opposite way. No. No, of course it won't. Why not? So we'll just delete that. And I love this new deletion tool where it doesn't actually delete everything. So let's do this. Like, let's do it over here then. Can you give me one there? Yes, you can. Okay. So that's going to be where things can switch on to separate platforms if need be okay and you can see the money is going up two million but of course it's still I mean we've been playing through this whole time so we're another year ahead and you can see that the profits they're good good profits but but it is still 
somewhat difficult to keep going. Uh, that actually does bring us pretty much to the end of the episode where I've actually managed to do exactly what I set out to do, which is odd. Okay, in the next episode, to give you a quick quick idea what's going what's going to happen let's get rid of that give you a quick idea of what's going to happen I'm going to signal this up and so I will be explaining signals um, and how they work and why I'm doing them in certain ways I'm going to get the trains running so I'll have the lines going and I'll get the trains running to get this first place uh, East Grinstead sorted out and I'll ha actually have the trucks running on here as well with two loops just like someone suggested as opposed to one loop point to point is just going to take too long so it's it's not going to it's not going to be effective enough in terms of uh, doing it for youtube anyway that's where i'm ending so thank you very much for watching please remember to hit the like button if you like this video subscribe to our channel for more videos on transport fever leave a comment in the comments box below letting me know your ideas your thoughts you know all those kind of things it'd be really cool to hear uh, what you guys are thinking, what you guys want to see. Um, I think it just all be really, really awesome. And I'll try and take as many of them on board as possible. Um, and, well, you guys already know my plan. So we'll see. We'll see where that leads us. Thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode.